Okay, welcome to the Burlington Hatchery. This is uh, part two of our video series of the egg, egg care for, for trout and salmon. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a couple of different species, uh, Farmington River Survivor strain of brown trout, and also kokanee salmon. But the principles are exactly the same as, as the, uh, the trout that you guys get in the trout in the classroom, uh, which would typically be the sea pearl and strain brown trout. But today I just wanted to show you all the phases of life, and today we happen to have uh, fish at different stages so we can, we can see all of them. So as you can see, our, uh, we have different stacks of incubators here. So basically all of these incubator stacks, there are eight trays in one, and we typically don't use the top tray. Uh, that's to settle out any fine solids in the water. When the eggs are first laid down, which is uh, after you fertilize them and they harden up, this is when the, the incubation begins. So this is what's referred to as incubation. and we put about 20,000, up to 20,000 eggs per tray, and we'll usually have three to four gallons a minute of flow per tray. Typically, we like to keep them covered with this black cover. Uh, at this stage of life, the eggs don't want to, you don't want to handle them, and you also uh, don't want to expose them to any unnecessary light because it'll kill the eggs. Any unnecessary movement, like pulling the tray in and out, that'll actually kill the egg. Just for ease of things, uh, this say you have 50 degree water, they'll typically hatch in 50 days at 50 degree water, that's give or take. And then um, about halfway through that, about 25 days, they'll become the eye stage. And that's when you can begin to handle them safely, pick out the dead ones and those kind of things. Uh, and, and you can even recount them to make sure that you're putting them in the hatching troughs to the right densities and so forth. Uh, but up until then, it's very crucial that you, you keep the handling to a minimum and the amount of light also to a minimum. So we're going to begin talking a little bit about the different stages. So we have we showed some pictures. You'll see some footage of the uh, eye stage where you can see the eye very clearly. Um, that's when we call what we shock the eggs. And it doesn't involve electrocution or anything like that. Uh, basically, it's an old term, and you physically shock the eggs. So you will take the eggs after they're well-eyed, and you can see them, the eye really cleanly, then they're safe to handle, and you'll take a tray of eggs, and you'll have a bin of water, and you basically pour the tray of eggs at a distance of about a foot or maybe two feet, and you just pour them into the other, uh, to the water, and just the movement of pouring them will, will get rid of any weak ones, so the weak eggs will, will die and turn white, and you can pick them off later. If you don't do that, those could potentially, you know, fungus up and, and or hatch and die and get disease. So it's best to get rid of the weaker eggs before they start hatching. Because hatching is quite uh, messy kind of in the tray. There's shells and all of that has protein which can grow fungus and bacteria very easily. So you want to make sure you're removing that daily. So we've covered all the way up to hatching. Um, and then at that point, you want to remove the, the eggs, or the, the sac fry, you want to remove them from the hatching incubation trays, and you bring them over to these troughs. So these are the troughs that we like to, to um, put the sac fry in, and they stay in there for quite some time. Um, they'll stay in here well into when they're feeding for several weeks. Uh, when they're big enough and, and strong enough, we will, what we call, drop them down into a deep tank, and then essentially you put them into a tank like this, um, you know, for the next stage of life. But for this stage, it's very similar to like a crib. So the incubation tray would more or less be like the bassinet kind of a thing. And this would be like the crib because this is kind of the next stage because at this point in time, these are sac fry and the yolk sac is the only thing that they're, uh, they get their food from and they don't have any working mouth parts so the gills aren't even formed yet. So all of the oxygen uh, exchange is going through the sac or through the light white skin that's forming on them. So they'll stay in this stage for up to three weeks, depending on your water temperature, and then they'll become more like fish, which what we call buttoning up. So when they button up, the sac is gets absorbed into the fish, and they've used up all that food in there, and they're under these shade covers basically because it's the same principle with the eggs, um, you know, you want to keep the white off them. And as you can see, they really hide under there. So, you know, all of the good ones are underneath the, the shade. And the ones that are not as healthy or not as strong get kind of booted out to the end um, where the lesser quality water is. So you'll see the next stage of life. After they've been in the sac fry stage for up to three weeks or so, 
Um, then you can begin feeding the fish, and as you can see, the food is really small, and you don't put very much in um, when they're when they're down low like this, and they're not up. Uh, we call it swim up stage when they go from being a sack fry to first feeding. You just put literally pinches of food in, not very much at all, and you'll drive some down to the bottom, and they'll smell that, and they'll start to react to that feed. Um, even though right now they might not actually, their mouth parts are just forming and everything, and their gut is just forming, they might actually not be able to eat for a couple more days yet. Uh, but then soon enough, you'll see them start swimming up, and you'll also see them starting to come out away from the covers, the shade covers, going more towards the light and once you see that you can actively feed them and, and then that's um, called first feeding which is um, pretty much the next stage uh, of getting totally out of sack fry and you're pretty much a little baby fish at this point.